The ID Project recently sat down with County Clerk Larry Kestenbaum. Probably the, the first issue that, uh, that, that is immediately apparent is that uh, you know, we have uh, a lot of people in this country, uh, estimated 12 million people who don't have uh, uh, you know, you know, legal visa status, uh, and who nonetheless have been here for years, are part of the population, are part of our community, are, are living, renting, paying taxes, working, all those kinds of things that, that people do in the community. But in the meantime, we have human beings here who don't have, uh, you know, who are, who are caught in the middle. They're not, uh, they're not going anywhere. It, 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 it's just insane to talk about, uh, you know, how the U.S. could somehow expel 12 million people. Uh, and, and the uh, Secretary of State has decided not to, uh, you know, to basically insist on, on, on visa status as part of their process. Uh, so. So we have, uh, you know, the county, you know, creating an alternative whereby you can establish your identity. You can go to the dentist or whatever. You can get your, your uh, uh, all the different, different things, getting prescriptions and so forth that you need or dealing with law enforcement that you need identification for, you need current valid identification for, and the county can fill that need. The problem of lack of identification does not affect every community equally. For example, low-wage earners, minorities, youth, undocumented workers, and senior citizens are all disproportionately affected. One of the reasons people lack ID is because they don't have birth certificates. But it's a catch-22, really, because in order to get a state ID, you need a birth certificate. And in order to get a birth certificate, you need a state ID. So the systems are flawed, and that's only for folks who actually have a birth certificate. For instance, the births of older generation African Americans weren't deemed worthy of records, so they don't even have an existing birth certificate traceable from any institution. The county ID card is designed to be universal. Uh, therefore, we have included a known as component on the ID so that individuals can include both their legal name and the name with which they identify in life. So something that's really exciting about the Washington ID card is that um, we're going to have what's called the scholarship fund, which our volunteer ID support clinic has already started fundraising for. And basically what it's going to do is just be financial support for those who can't um, afford the ID and alleviate any costs that come with it. Um, so we really, really want this ID card to reach every community member who needs one. Uh, and and so I, I, I support the project and I, I uh, as I said, I'm I knew that my office was going to be at the center of it once it happened. If you have 12 million people nationally, if the, if the county is a, is a microcosm of the country, uh, we would have 12,000 people in Washtenaw County who don't have, who don't have visa status and who are living in this, uh, in this netherworld without, an, without a valid identification. Maybe they had it in the past, uh, uh, but when the, when the Secretary of State changed the rules, that, that it was no longer available to them. Uh, and that uh, uh, having a subset of the population that stuck that way is a problem for everybody. And everything that happens when, when, when there's a bad outcome, like someone is required to be you know, taken away to the jail or something like that because of not having an ID, uh, you know, well, that costs everybody something. Uh, and, and it creates uncertainty for everybody. It may not be strictly necessary, but it, it's become policy, it's become routine that someone has to have an ID card. And when you don't have an ID card, you know, you're excluded in ways that are not helpful, obviously, to you. It's not helpful to the community. It's not helpful to the function to have people who, who can't, uh, uh, you know, let's say, pick up a prescription or whatever else is, you know, would be needed for, uh, uh, you need to do in your daily life. I think that, I think that uh, uh, it is both in terms of kind of community solidarity and, and, in, and in terms of demonstrating that this is a perfectly valid uh, form of idea. I certainly plan to get one. And I think that, that uh, as I talk about it in the community, I want to be able to pull out my wallet and say, here's the one I have. You know, you could have this too. Uh, and so I'm looking forward to, have, to being able to do that.